Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use update query in Postgres database table using PHP PDO. So first thing, make sure that you have uh, PHP installed with, let's say, WAMP, ZAMP, or maybe even with Bitnami server. Okay. After that, make sure to check whether your Apache is running. Also, in case of Windows, make sure that you go to Postgres and enable the background service. Okay, after that, create one sample.php file and inside which we are going to write our code. Let's start with creating, starting and ending PHP tags. Then next thing to do is we are going to use try and catch block, okay? So for catch, we are going to use PDO exception, okay? So once there is an exception, we are going to echo it with, let's say, get message, okay? And inside the try block, we are going to create our video connection. So my video equals new video class, so it will take your pgc core and here we have to point to localhost so that it can figure it out on its own then semicolon database name as test video after that comma then post grass as username also password in my case is demo one two three four Okay, now next thing to do is to use your update query. Okay, so I'm gonna use SQL query one equals to update. Then let's say company is my table name. Then I'm gonna set age equals to let's say 27, or you can go for 47 where your ID is seven, okay, that's it. And then I'm gonna execute this query with my PDO query method and then SQL query, okay. Let me just remove extra dollars, okay, and then SQL query one. Now that you have executed the query, next thing to do is you have to print this result out. For that, let's create one more query. Select star from company. Okay, then next thing is we're gonna loop through the rows. So I'm gonna execute my query. Okay. And from that, I'm gonna take the rows as dollar rows, okay? And inside for each loop, I'm gonna print, let's say first I have to use break so that I can put some space. Then I'm gonna use print and sorry, um, I'm gonna use rows and here let's start with id then again use a dash so that will add some space roads and then name okay and then again dash and then dollar roads okay and then H. Okay, that's all. And finally, you can use break if you want so that results go with next. Make sure it is properly checked with all the dots, dash, and single quotes. And once you do that, we are ready to execute this code and make sure that you are age set for id7 is now 47. if this appears in your result then make sure that 
everything has gone correctly. If it doesn't show 47, that means there are some issues. So let's start checking our entire code before we execute. Local host, then SPD, Postgres, then query. And our query is also good. And then we executed this. Then we created select query, then loop, and printed it out. Now open, now open browser. And here I'm going to use 127.0.0.1 sample.php. And here you see entry 7 has 8 changed to 47. That means our update query has worked and it has managed to edit our ID 7s. H. Okay, so you can pause the video, go through the code, and see how to execute your SQL query on your Postgres database table.